All right, so Artie, um, how long have you been in San Diego, man? Uh, 15 years. Wow, all right. Have you been in uh, Mission Hills your whole life or um, where? So I used to live up in the suburbs uh, in Poway and Rancho Menard area. And okay. then I moved down here uh, maybe about six, five years ago for school. Okay, nice. And now I've been out of school and just working. and just how you think it's changed a little bit and then um, how you know the coronavirus has impacted us yeah for sure uh, so I mean like I think in the past 10 15 years you know uh, new waves of generations are coming in so it's kind of changing a lot of like what our cultural uh, standards kind of are so like shops are changing a lot more you know uh, new kids are coming in so it's changing the school districts you know uh, infrastructures are changing so it's I would say it's constantly adapting in a good way, but like, you know, you could take good in a relative way. It could be either, it's in a, it's like you could say it's good, but like others could say it's bad, but I still think we're sustaining really well. And like in lights of coronavirus, like San Diego holds up really strong as a community, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I would say I'm pretty happy to be here and I think, I think we're in a good direction. So I think uh, ultimately like, not a lot of crazy shit has changed, you know, not a lot of stuff has happened here, so. All right, sir, can you uh, please state your name and how long you've been living in San Diego? Uh, uh, Sean Linder, um, since 2005. Okay, nice. And, like, has the coronavirus affected you with work, or are you working from home, or? Uh, yeah, I work in a restaurant. I got laid off, like, March 17th. Okay, uh, which, which uh, restaurant did you used to work at? Between Urbana. Oh, that's a, that's a good spot. Oh. Alright, let's... I'm sorry to hear that. Um, how do you think that this is affecting uh, San Diego? Uh, I mean, obviously... A lot the same the rest of the world. Definitely. Um, although, it's, it's nice that we got a little... We have nice weather and there's a lot of people things you can do outdoors and maybe still social distance without and be able to get outside your house and stuff. Maybe different than like New York or places you got hit hard where they're like on top of each other and okay. be indoors and stuff. But uh, definitely significantly affected my life for sure, like personally. the political landscape in the future and like how people interact as, as human beings too or I mean I would say kind of through an election this year I would say it definitely drastically affected I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if it would necessarily affect the outcome but I feel like it would affect people's um, the issues that they find that they how they rank them and what they find important and stuff like that um, it could change a lot of things about the future um, or, or just how we live our lives. Maybe some for the good and some for the bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think there's a lot of things we could take on the positive side, you know, things we take for granted or how we live life or things we think are important that maybe we're for, forced us to change our mind about that. But on the negative side, I would, people miss being able to be close to each other and give people a hug or a handshake and little things like that. I mean, work in the restaurant, like being able to eat with people and go out and drink and celebrate things, have birthday parties together and stuff like that. I mean, that stuff will be hard and it'll be hard to see how it is that we can come back from that. Yeah.